How you doing fellas? It's Bear with Texas Bushcraft and I'm coming to do a review or a video on my uh, my pack fishing kit or my critter getter stick. Uh, what I used was some uh, PVC uh, pipe. It's about a foot long. I want to say it's one and a half inches thick or one and a quarter. Something like, or uh, yeah, diameter. Uh, I've got on the outside here, I've got some uh, Ranger band material. It's the bike inner tube. This is about probably about five, six inch piece, probably a five inch piece. And uh, underneath that, I've got a couple of uh, small uh, Fresno lenses. So if you pull the end cap off, you can roll this back, and there you go. You can see them right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it that well, but it's right there. Put the cap back on real quick and do the rest of this. All right, so I got some duct tape. I've got probably about 10 feet of duct tape wrapped around right here. And then next to that, I've got probably anywhere between 30 and 50 feet of uh, bank line, tarred bank line. And then I've got some 8-pound test fishing line and then some 12-pound test fishing line on the, on the outside ring here. And then the end down here, I've got an, uh, a cap that's actually for a 1-inch pipe that I put in there and I gorilla glued it in place so it'll actually hold itself and it's watertight so it'll float in the water and then on the end on here I've got another ranger band so I can I have extra ranger bands and my lanyard on the end cap so take off the end cap it's just a just a slip on end cap alright so inside I've got a match case with a ferrous seam rod striker on the bottom or a ferrous seam rod on the bottom and on the inside, I've got some uh, uh, cotton balls with Vaseline on them. Or not Vaseline, but uh, Burt's Beeswax. So set that off to the side here. And then the next one. See if I can get these out. There we go. Next things I've got is four two, uh, 35 millimeter containers. And... These fit very snugly on the inside of this container. And the ones you have to get for this to work are the ones where the cap goes on the inside of the film canister, not the ones that go on the outside. So the ones with the gray caps don't work like for this. But I've got all of them wrapped in a piece of uh, Gorilla Tape. And that's just that's more so I have extra Gorilla Tape if I need it for anything. Uh, it's not a whole lot. It's just enough to go one time around and the seam or the end, ends touch. So it just covers it. And then it also gave me a platform to actually wrap the, the line, the extra fishing line I have. So I have extra fishing line. So there's the 8-pound test and there's the 12-pound test. And as you can see, the duct tape actually seeped through. So I need to get some different duct tape on this one and uh, rewrap the rewrap the line around it so it will not be sticky. But that's why that's why I was having trouble getting the the tubes out in, in the beginning there. All right, so we'll start with this one right here. So in this tube, I've got uh, an assortment of hooks. I think eight, ten, six, and uh, fours. I think some uh, little ones with weighted heads on them. Let's see if I can get this to focus on here. There we go. We got little weighted head ones. And I've got some regular some regular straight hooks. And then some ones that have like a little bend in the end of the hook there. But I've got the an assortment of hook. Oh, I've also got some treble hooks here. You can see the, the treble hooks. I've got a couple of those in there as well. We'll just put those off to the side here, and I'll put everything back at the end of this video. All right, so the next one I've got here is a container, and it's got some leaders in it that I can use as snare wire, or snares, not snare wire, but snares if I want to, or I can use them for fishing. Uh, the, re the main reason I put them in here is for the, the snares, though. I didn't don't really care to use the leaders usually. They're just an extra thing to add to a something that you don't need it to 
and a, a small bobber. I think this is a one inch bobber from uh, Academy. And actually in the top of this kit, I usually have, right when you open it in the cap here, I have another bobber in here, but I don't know where the one that I had in here went. So I have to go find that one at some point in time. All right, so in this one, I've got another, another bobber. Oh, my line came off here. Put that back in there. All right, so I got another bobber, and I've got a spinner bait here. It's got a treble hook on it and a gold spoon. Let's see if I can get that in there. A gold spoon here, a treble hook, and it's got a little bit of color to it. And that's all I got in that one. That back. And that's the one with the eight pound test line on the outside of it. And then in this one, just in case I need to make a fly or something in the in the in the bush there, I've got some red yarn, just some scrap yarn that I got from my wife, and several different types of or sizes of split shot and swivels here just in case I need I lose them or whatnot because I go through split shot really fast for some reason put that back in there so yeah that's that's my that's my small fishing kit and I'm gonna put this all back together real quick and I'm gonna show you how I put it back into the into the container there because there's a specific way I do it that makes it a little easier for me to cast and reel in. Uh, the main thing is the, one, the, the the 35 millimeter container with the weight in it I put in the very end of there so it goes in first usually and the reason being it gives me a little bit more weight when I flick it out on the end piece where the the actual line is coming off to cast so I don't have to worry about it. And then also whenever I'm reeling it in, it gives me another or a weight on the end of it, which kind of, a, kind of acts like a centrifuge, and it makes it a little easier for me to, cat, or to reel in a little bit faster. So let's put all this back in here. And I usually put the ones with the line on the outside, or the, uh, the line wrapped around the tubes. I usually put those on the outside. Drop one of my treble hooks down there. So you get all this back in here and put it in there too. See if I can find my other bobber in my other kit. I made two of these kits actually. Uh, one for myself and one for my wife. Uh, for when we go uh, camping. That way we can both be productive in trying to get food. So put that one back in the top here. So I've got all four of those tubes in there. And then my fire starting kit here goes in here. And what I think I'm going to do actually is I've got that that uh, that wire, the trip wire, the Vietnam era trip wire. I think I'm going to wrap this in probably 40 or so feet of the trip wire. And there's enough space in here. It wiggles around quite a bit that that'll actually take up some of the space and it'll also give me another way to make some snares while I'm in the bush with that. But here's the other one. Pull the cap off this one and see if that bobber, there's a bobber in there. Yep, there's one right here. Show you how that goes. I usually just tuck, tuck it in there and put it on. And it casts just like any other uh, pocket fishing kit that you've seen. You've, you've seen the ones on Dave's website. Uh, You've seen him use them. You've seen other people make them and use them. Uh, AMS actually just posted a video recently of his pocket fishing kit, and it's the same thing. You just you're gonna hold onto the line with one hand, and you're gonna cast it either flick it this way or overhand, however you want to flick it. Just cast and let go, and it'll unspool, and then to reel it in, you just use your spin it around. And I've got mine set up so that way I can actually when I reel it in. I have a hand grip down here that's going to be waterproof. It won't lose grip whenever I'm I'm doing that. Also, it gives me another place to put some stuff. So I got the like I said the Fresnel lenses in there and that. But yeah, you got the lanyard on the end of it to hold on, keep you from throwing it in the water. And like I said, even if you do throw this thing in the water on accident, it's got it floats, so you won't have to worry about losing it unless you take <laughs> way too long to get to it. Then it might uh, float down river or 
the uh, the hole in the top here where the the lanyard comes through it it it'll let water in but this should be this the end that floats upwards just because it's bulkier and it's lighter on this end it's heavier on the other end it's another reason why I have the weights down there but yeah there's my uh, my critter getter stick is what I call it and I hope you guys enjoyed uh, if you can uh, like the video thanks for all the time you guys have spent watching the videos and posting on the forums and that uh, Hope to see you guys at the the gathering soon. I'm gonna have these there with me so we can uh, we can play around with them some. I'm also gonna have some of my mini fishing kits at the gathering as well, uh, so we can try. I can show you guys how to put those together and use those. But uh, thanks for all the time, guys, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks.